what's up everybody it's me tony fx here in today's video i'm going to show you how to add an emotion to your minecraft render but before we start with the video please like and subscribe because that would motivate me to upload more videos every each day so yeah please do that and hit that notification bell button thingamajig so you will never miss a video of mine so yeah anyways let's get started with the video so first of all you're gonna need the app of ps touch uh, you can get it free on well just search on youtube um ps touch apk and download it so yeah uh first of all ps touch you have to press the plus button and make an empty layer after that i'll uh, go to the polygon tool and create uh outline a mouth so uh just follow the steps i'm doing and uh just give me a second uh there we go so after you're done with that actually i'm gonna make the mouth a little bit better because that looks a little bit weird uh not every mouth is perfect so yeah i'm sorry uh there we go so after you're done with that press the end button press fill and stroke and make the mouth black well that's what i do um so you're gonna change the color however you want it to be and i'm gonna press this little moving button and there um so basically i'm just gonna position the mouth to be better i guess and i'm just gonna find a way in any way possible to make it look better so let me see uh that looks great i guess all right after that you will want to move around the eye so since this eye is already looking at a direction i'm gonna make this eye look uh that direction so this is how we're gonna do it so first of all we're gonna need to press the polygon tool and uh outline the eye so yeah just um do this um uh, real quick um and after that press the plus button and put lane from uh section and now go to the uh, square thingy and press select deselect after that go on the skin um um file what is it called layer and after that uh outline the eye with the polygon tool and yeah so let me just give me a second all right almost done uh, this takes a little bit of a while. Alright, after you're done with that, pr um, press the um, paint tool and go to color. And after that, press this little squirting out thingy and go on the eye color. Well, not the pupil, but this eye. And um, just color in the redness or, or the pupil and the whole entire thing so it looks much better. And if you have a little bit of a uh, red over here, all you can do is just go to the polygon tool and cover it up. It's really simple, not really that difficult. Just oh, wait a second. There we go. And I'm a detailed um graphics maker, cause I'm not exactly um, perfect, but I just try to make it perfect as possible. So there. After that, um, go on the eye layer, and now you can move around the eye however you like it. And uh, let me just move it around right now. So yeah, you can just move it around however you like it to look. Uh, I really don't care. Just make it your style. I do my own style, uh, if you didn't notice. And I'm mostly known for my renders and everything. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. So, um, I think that looks good. But if you don't like, if there's like a little thing covering it up, like uh, it's outside the eye, all you can do is just use the polygon tool and um, just, cover, uh, just clean it up. All right, there we go. So, um, that looks a bit better. Now, um, if you want to add an eyebrow, all you can do is um, use the polygon tool, and um, and you only use extrusions, uh, extruding on this. But uh, if you want to know how to extrude, uh, just check out my video in the description down below, because it uh, will kind of help you. So let me just um, just outline the whole entire hair piece. Uh, it won't take a, uh, it won't take that long. Oh. Uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of a while, that's why my renders, basically, um, my renders are eight times faster, uh, of the speed rate, because, uh, I do take, uh, it takes a while for me to make a render, so after that, press the plus button, and use layer from section, after that, go to the triangle, uh, I mean, a square, and press deselect, after that, go on the, um, skin layer, press plus, and make an empty layer, after that, um, go on the square called Marquee section tool, or selection tool and after that um just um if you didn't know go to the corners and make it um, radius zero and after that go to the end and fill in stroke 
and make it black. So, as you can see, the eyebrows under the um, hair, uh, that's um, what I want it to be right now. After that, you can just position the um, eyebrow however you like. I really don't mind uh, however you make it. Uh, let me just see if I can just make it a bit better. Uh, let me see. Uh, you can also make it uh, longer or larger or whatever. Uh, I really don't mind. So, let me just give me a second. Alright, there, so yeah, that's how you do it, uh, you can add extrusions, um, also I want to tell you something very important, so when you have a hat on your render, and um, all you need, uh, this is very important, make the um, hat like larger, let me show you what I mean, so um, basically outline, outline the hat, and um, make sure to make the hat like uh, larger than the hair so this is what I mean so in real life you're basically need to make the uh, hat um, like uh, on top of make it's like the same thing with the um, hair with the eyebrow but just make the hat larger so after you're done with that press layer from the section and make it uh, just larger um, and uh, not way too large but like just a bit larger and put it in the same area so let me give me a second and uh, I guess uh, there so that will work and um, you can easily extrude this since it's black but let me just do this a real second uh, so yeah that's all uh, it's very important just to know that um, it needs to be larger than the hair or bigger or taller whatever you want to call it so yeah just give me a second to x-ray this uh yeah that's all um basically i need to do um if you want to know how to extrude, just make sure to check out the description of my video how to extrude. and yeah that's pretty much it guys uh i i don't know what else to tell you about um yeah but um the only part you're missing is just to extrude if you're following the steps oh yeah and once you're done making the hat layer make sure it's on top of that everything so, because it will look kind of weird, uh, like the hair being on top of the extrudes, um, there. So, now we're done. Uh, you can easily extrude this once you see my tutorial how to extrude. But yeah, now we're done. Uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, I hope you guys did it, uh, enjoy this video and hopefully this was a very helpful in any way. And yeah, um, uh, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Keep